In this video, we will be moving away from ancient history for a moment to cover the medieval period conquest of the Holy Land by the Christians. Although we will not be looking at the whole First Crusade in this video, but rather at the Norman perspective and how the direct descendants of Viking Norsemen would conquer Antioch. We will look for most of this video specifically at the Siege of Antioch and the battles directly relating to it, as they were some of the most crucial events that led to this conquest. Firstly, how did Nor Norsemen even get into such a position that they were actually able to participate in the First Crusade? A very quick explanation goes as follows. After a surgeon Rollo from Scandinavia terrorised the French and conquered Normandy, many Norsemen settled with him in France and became Christian. Their descendants, under rulers such as Robert Giscard, with Giscard meaning the, the fox, referring to his cunning nature, would adventure and carve out their own realm in Sicily. The Sicilian kingdom would be ruled by the Normans for some time, campaigning under Robert Giscard against the Lombards of Italy and the Islamic warlords in Sicily. This campaign would cement the Normans as a powerful force in Sicily. Following this, the Norman warlord would attempt a failed campaign against the Eastern Romans. With this background information covered, we will move on to Bohemond himself, the man who is the centre of the story we are covering today. He was the son of the King of Sicily, who I've already mentioned, Robert Giscard, and was a Norman knight and general. He was involved in the Balkan campaign against the Eastern Romans, winning many battles with his strong Norman cavalry and their couch lance tactics, before finally being defeated by Basileus, Alexius I Komnenos. Alexius I Komnenos won this war despite his defeats and the military skill of Bohemond, purely out of determination not to surrender, and also out of his ability to adapt his strategies after defeats. With the Sicilian kings having failed to conquer Greece, they ceased their belligerence for a short while. Only a few years after the Balkan campaign, Bohemond would be back in Greece, not to go to war with the Basileus, but to save his empire. The Pope Urban II had called a crusade to reconquer the Holy Land, as it had been owned by Islam ever since they took it from the Eastern Romans. Bohemond had brought an army to join this crusade. The Normans followed the crusade through Turkey and down into the Levant. The whole crusade is too big a topic for this video, but I might make a video on that, uh, that subject another time. When the Crusader forces reached Antioch on 20th of October uh, 1097, a lengthy siege began to take the city, as Antioch was very well fortified and would be difficult to break quickly. The Seljuks ruled this land, and the Seljuk commander of the city requested aid from the Seljuk sultan. During the next few months of the siege, the Seljuk defenders were at first quite passive, and did not lead any sally-outs on the Crusader camps. But then, seeing that the Crusaders were not in a position to lead their own assaults on the city, and take it by storm immediately, they began to become more aggressive in this respect. One relief force for the city was defeated in a reasonably large battle, in which a contingent of the Crusader army under Bohemond and Robert of Flanders fought the relief force. In this battle, Bohemond played a crucial role, crashing into the flank of his opponents just when the battle was turning against the Crusaders. After this, the siege continued, with the Crusaders suffering very bad issues with their supplies and food. Worse news was re received to the Crusader camp when they were alerted to a second massive relief force under Radwan of Aleppo. This army numbered around 12,000, and Bohemond was chosen to meet it with only 700 mounted knights. Bohemond was not put off by his complete numerical inferiority, however, and chose to mount an attack, despite the fact his position seemed very weak. Bowman set his army up on a nearby hill and, when the enemy force arrived, waited for a good moment to strike down at them with a cavalry charge. Bowman set, sent most of his army in a cavalry charge to strike the enemy column, whilst wisely keeping himself in reserve with a small contingent. The enemy column was set into disarray by the impact of the initial charge, but they mounted some fiercer resistance to Bowman's knights and drove them back. This was the crucial moment, and Bowman knew it, 
and so committed his reserves and himself to the battle. The impact of this charge was so great that at once the whole army of Radwan was set into chaos, retreating in complete and decisive defeat back to Aleppo, with Radwan being among the survivors of this battle. Bohemond returned in victory, and just in time to drive off a sally out of the besieged Seljuks at Antioch. After a few more weeks spent in besieging the city, it finally fell to the Crusader force on 3rd of June, uh, 1098. However, the Crusader troubles were not over in this siege, as another army under Kerboga arrived, sorry, that was the most dreadful pronunciation I've ever done, probably, arrived and besieged the Crusaders inside of their newly taken city. Over a period of almost a month, the Crusaders fought in the defence against their strong opponents before they were eventually able to drive Kerboga off again with the help of some questionable relics and the might of their armoured cavalry. After this, Bowman had to secure control over Antioch. He first accepted the surrender of the son of the previous Seljuk garrison commander, who had spent the whole time of this siege bravely holding out in the fortified city of Antioch. Citadel, I mean, Citadel of Antioch. After a significant amount of scheming, Bohemond was able to solidify his control over the city of Antioch, but he had to pay nominal allegiance to the Basileus in Constantinople. This has been our video, which began with Norsemen, and ended with their strange conquest of Antioch many generations later. I understand that it is strange that, the, that it took the Crusaders eight months to, believe, to, to besiege Antioch, and yet it took me nine months to make this video. I'll try to upload more regularly in the future. For now, valete et ave spqr.